Some are reimagined with new abilities. That's right, Ymir's wall now knocks up enemies, and he can use it to rocket jump. At least as much as a frost giant can do. And how Ymir's wall freezes the nearby environment. And made subtle changes to stay true to the guy. The fire giant, fully equipped with new abilities and new tactical approaches. Earn game-changing buffs as you defeat the gold fury. Culminate objective. Gain every advantage through mastering new lane and jungle. First up, relics are gone, at least as you know them. Now every god has two buttons by default, purification beats to immune crowd control, and a warding slot used specifically for your choice of vision control options. What about the other former relic options and items? Well, now your entire six slot item inventory can potentially have an activated effect, triggered by a button press. If you want blink, buy a blinking amulet. And don't worry, if you don't want to think about using any extra buttons in combat, you can still build items that are focused on stats and passives instead. The choice is yours in this new system. The item store is now easier to navigate, with an entirely new way to build items. Want to cool it down an item and don't want to scour 30 different trees? Don't want to have to decide now what finished item you'll need in five minutes? Don't worry, just build a bow, and every single item with attack speed can be built out of that bow. And you'll have more creative builds than ever before. Gods are no longer just magical or physical. Each god will now have two different sources of power strength and intelligence. Different abilities within each god's kit will scale differently, and all gods will be able to build all items. Face Punch Ymir with crit is back. Hunters that used to do it all like Kernanos now will need to build Int in order to increase damage on certain abilities, like his Polymorph. And new hybrid utility options let Chalk build Int to buff his healing. Whether it's a visual balance pass, an overall fresh coat of paint, or minor proportional changes so Chalk doesn't have a dab on anymore. Here's an early look at Smite 2's Neath, who feels much more mythologically appropriate than before. And of course, Smite 2 has all new gods. Introducing Hikati, whose flowing robes and otherworldly effects are only possible in UE5. Hikati, the Greek goddess of sorcery, has been the single most community requested god for Smite. Players have felt her impact in Smite for years through the item Ring of Hikati, but now they will finally be able to play as the legendary witch herself. Hikati brings an elegant playstyle to Smite 2 with her ranged magical abilities. Her magic allows her to reach through dimensions and even travel within the liminal space itself. Hecate's flames can guide the way or her sorcery can bring gods to a halt. The choice is yours. Ability effects are all new, taking full advantage of Niagara. Watch how Anher's pillar dissolves into sand, how Chalk's rain wets the ground, and how Ymir's wall freezes the nearby environment. Smite 2 is the next generation of cross-platform third-person MOBA. This is a true sequel to Smite fully modernized and rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5. That's a two generation leap over Smite's Unreal 3. That means we have to completely rework or recreate every piece of content for it to function in Smite 2. Tactics that you can only find in a three lane MOBA. Competition is core to our DNA. And rest assured that Smite 2 is a competitive game that rewards your time and your skill. But unlike those other MOBAs, Smite 2 is amazing third person combat. Whether you're coming from MOBAs, shooters, action games, or MMOs, weapon movements leave trails, making attacks more visible. Upper and lower body animations are more in sync, positioning your character within the action. Specific animations and effects have been retuned to add more impact than before. CC status and immunity are now clearly communicated on nameplates, so it's easier to read the flow of combat. And work has been done on the UI and user experience to make sure you truly feel when you're hitting your enemies and being hit. And there's even more new in Smite 2 to reward you for tactically and creatively playing the Conquest map. Ambush your enemies from new stealth zones and make clutch rotations through portals connecting outer lanes. And there's an all new way to intentionally interact with the map through a button press. Use this to fight over the Warhorn, which strengthens your minions, or to pick up a buff. That's right, there are no more accidental buff pickups in Smite 2. Polish and performance that's finally possible in Smite 2. So let's address the question on everyone's mind. Existing content from Smite 1 will not directly transfer to Smite 2. But don't worry, just because your content doesn't directly transfer doesn't mean we're not rewarding our loyal players in Smite 2 for their time, money, and accomplishments. As of today, there are about 1,600 skins in Smite, excluding mastery skins. To just pour every skin to Smite 2, it would take about 246 person years of work 
and we couldn't do that and make Smite 2 as amazing as we knew it could be if we started fresh. When we started this project, we made this hard call. We believed that our players wanted a better version of Smite more than anything else. So what will you get in Smite 2? Introducing Legacy Gems and Divine Legacy, two systems designed to make sure you get rewarded for your time, money, and achievements. Whether you grinded out daily logins or went hard on your gem sales, your Legacy Gems will be waiting for you in Smite 2. You'll receive Legacy Gems in Smite 2 equal to every single gem you've ever spent in Smite 1, free or purchased. Your Legacy Gems can be used to pay for 50% of most in-game purchases in Smite 2. So things like events, skins, battle passes, and Smite 2 will all be half off until you spend all of your Legacy Gems. And if you purchase any Smite 2 Founders Packs, we'll give you double your Legacy Gems, giving you the equivalent purchasing power to the gems you already spent in Smite 1. Stay tuned for more info on Smite 2 Founders Packs as we get closer to release. And Year 11 of Smite 1 comes with an all new feature, Divine Legacy going live in the first update of Year 11. Through the Divine Legacy, you'll be rewarded for your progress for each year of Smite's history. We've tracked the gods you've mastered, the rank matches you've lost, the skins you've unlocked, and the match hours you've played. You earn points for your progress in each year, and your points are tallied together to give you rewards. You'll get a number of Smite 2 badges to show off some of your amazing Smite 1 achievements, your rare skins, and your exact mastery level and star count on each god. Plus, you'll unlock up to 11 skins in Smite 2 free. One for each year of Smite. Even if you don't plan to move to Smite 2, the Divine Legacy has some amazing rewards for you. You'll get to choose any unlimited tier four and any unlimited tier five to unlock absolutely free in Smite 1. There's something else brand new coming to Smite in year 11, cross-gen skins. With Smite 2 approaching, we built a whole new skin production pipeline to make content that you'll get both in Smite 1 and in Smite 2. You can unlock two cross-gen skins today with the Smite Legacy Pass DLC available now in Smite. This pack includes the new Cross-Gen Untamed Bologna skin, the new Cross-Gen Batty Bat Jingwei skin, a boost to Divine Legacy progress in year 11, and more. There's not just one or two Cross-Gen skins this year. Every new Gem Purchasable skin released in Smite in year 11 will be a Cross-Gen skin, unlocked for you in Smite 2 as soon as that god is available to play. And as an added benefit, You'll get legacy gems in Smite 2 for every gem you spend on these cross-gen skins or any Smite 1 content. Where we'll reveal two new gods transitioning to Smite 2 every month. And it's important to make clear once again, Smite 2 is a true sequel. Smite 1 and all of your Smite 1 content will remain live and available for you to play even after Smite 2 releases.